Hello everyone, I hope you enjoyed the little intro montage. For this showcase, we have the MD Backbone class sent in by... I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce that, it's actually kind of simple, I'm just going to put it on screen. Thank you for sending that in. Now, a quick reminder that I've temporarily closed submissions until I can catch up. I've still got quite a few, so hold back if you want to send something in. It's a good time to uh, update your vehicles also, uh, in case you were planning on, sending, on sending something in. Anyway, moving on. Some of you might look at this and say, well, Ohm, why are you showing this? What's so great about this? Well, to you I reply, this is a great example of how you get to play the game without having to put in a million hours first. Uh, this is a great, simple newbie vehicle. There's nothing super wrong with this. There's nothing super advanced about this. It's just something you can build as a new player that doesn't look horrible and performs decently. So let's go straight into the review and let's start with the negatives. The first thing I'm going to mention about this is the armor setup. It's not bad, don't get me wrong, because this thing is pretty cheap. If anything with decent firepower looks at it the wrong way, it's gonna blow up anyway. But some things you might not want to do is something like this. So um, the top of the turret is open and not only is it open, but there are um, <laughs> clips in there. And this is a heat gun, shape charges. So it's gonna blow up if it, uh, yeah, if there's any HE or flak that explodes nearby, it's probably gonna pop. And just in general, if we look at the armor setup, there's nothing too bad about it, but you can go even simpler than this. If you look at it, there's basically a layer of alloy, an air gap, and then there are some reinforcements around the key parts. And this is mostly fine, but you can go even simpler. You could just go metal, wood, applique, and there you have basic heat and hash countermeasures. You have just a small amount of HP to absorb some damage. It's relatively compact. You don't need a proper full air gap. It just works. Or you could go even metal alloy applique. And that would do. Right? Don't, don't overthink things. And especially, like, if you're going to have an air gap, um, put the wood next to the air gap, right? Just because it's going to help reduce... The AP from Hesh, I'm going to do this because the camera is uh, going a little crazy because this thing is a little bouncy. Um, but yeah, you, you don't have to go crazy and super in-depth in with the uh, armor scheme, but you know, eh, something a little bit more than this probably would have been, uh, it would have been worth it for something that's not completely throwaway, right? Uh, the next thing I'm going to comment on, since I said that, you know, this would blow up, uh, is the shells. Uh, the main gun shells are actually pretty decent. It's fine. It's a heat charge, relatively slow, but it's fine. But this thing fires an APHE round, and... I'm going to take a second and I'm going to do this so the camera stops bobbing around. Uh, it has a pan depth fuse. Um, this isn't going to pan. It can't even pan uh, one meter of wood. It, it Don't do it. <laughs> Just don't do it. Um, if you're going to do this, first of all, you should probably use an inertial fuse because... Since it doesn't pen, it's very likely to bounce and then the HE won't explode. And that would just be really quite unfortunate. So even just doing something like this would be better. But generally speaking, for a simple gun with a short shell, just forget about APHE. Just, just don't do it. Just go with a pure shell. Just go pure kinetic or pure HE or anything like that. Or heat, whatever, but... 
forget about pen depth. Pen depth is not great for this. Uh, the other thing is the missiles. Um, they're fine. It's a great uh, newbie weapon. But you should probably learn it a bit better. Learn to optimize it. I don't have a tutorial on missiles yet. Uh, I do have one on APN uh, prediction guidance and one turns. How they work, but not a generic missile one. Uh, it's just a little less than optimal, right? It's going to work. Missiles are great. It's a great tool. But because they're so great and simple, take the time, right? Experiment a little bit. Because those are quite slow. You know, it's just strange choices. Like the regulator is probably unnecessary here. I think the torpedoes also have regulators. Like that's 80 seconds with this... Uh, thrust that's actually four kilometer range, but torpedoes are slow by nature, and you know, all of the speed uh, you can get would be better for most part because then you're not chasing the vehicle forever, right? The faster you are, the less you're trailing behind. So, you know, just small decisions about the missiles that are worth taking the time to uh, investigate and learn and optimize since missiles are your best friend probably for something like this, especially as a newbie. And finally, I'm going to talk about the engines a little bit. Uh, again, I don't want you to go crazy about engines, especially as a new player. Um, engines are probably one of the least impactful decision on your builds, on the performance of your builds, especially early on where you're gonna have issues with your armor setup, with your weapon setup, those are all more important than the engines. That said, uh, this thing uses, I th I'm pretty sure it's uh, this prefab, and I think it's one of the worst prefabs. It's absolutely garbage power per volume, and in my opinion, power per volume is far more important than power per material. And this combination of stats is just sad. Honestly, now this is potentially not entirely accurate because this is actually uh, two engines back to back that are then tied together again to another two engines back to back via the exhaust. And I think that actually makes the stats a bit misleading. Um, that said, this isn't a great engine. So something to think about. And now for the positives. What's good about this vehicle? And the first thing that, you know, is going to catch your eye is just the camo. And some of you might not like it, but it's actually a realistic camo. It was called Dazzle Camo and it was used on ships. And just camo in general is a good idea, especially as a new player, but also as an experienced player. Um, just because it lets you enhance the look of your vehicles without having to spend a lot of time on an elaborate paint scheme and color choices and stuff like that. It's just a nice way to, you know, make it look less bland. So that's nice. And then there's a choice of armament. I know I, you know, said that the missiles aren't entirely uh, optimized and one of the shells is not great but the overall design decisions on the armament are actually very good because first of all there are the vertical launch EMP missiles and EMP against small and medium vehicles just a great way to have a good chance of instantly crippling your enemy then there's the heat gun Heat, once again, not necessarily the thing that scales the best, but also very good at having a chance of dealing very severe damage, internal damage, very quickly in the fight. And then there's torpedoes that actually have signal processors, which means that, you know, you can actually pretty reliably hit a submarine with this, and if you have a lot of these boats, then you can potentially damage and destroy a fairly large submarine.
And then we have the speed. This thing, for being so simple, is actually pretty quick. So if we let it accelerate a little bit, I think it reaches about 25, 26 meters per second. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it catches some air every now and then. It's more like 24 meters per second, I guess. Uh, but that's pretty good for something really simple. And this size, this is a good speed. Nothing insane. You know, you could get higher speeds, but you could also have a much lower speed as well. And that would be disastrous for something like this, because then crams would just have a field day with your ship. And that's about it for the MD Backbone class. So thank you again for sending this in. I think this is something that new players should look up to. This is just a simple and effective design. So thank you for watching. Bye bye.